All right, Gemini. <clears throat> this first card is your situation involving the relationship. This is the other person's feelings. Three and five are the aspects of the relationship and how things might develop. Four is what will test you or help you. And then this is the outcome. All right, your situation now. Very nice. Oh my God, that's fantastic to see. So, <clears throat> and thinking back to your monthly reading, that is perfect. It's perfect. The Ten of Pentacles to me almost like represents the retired couple. They're super successful, super happy with their life. They're looking to the future to see what they can do now. It's beautiful. And this could suggest like love coming in really quickly for the singles, like so fast your head's going to spin. So it's perfect seeing that as the situation right now. How oh, the other person's feelings, the six of swords. So this to me is saying that the other person may be dealing with some conflict in their life right now. Now, the situation with the relationship is good, but the other person's feelings are dealing with some conflict and needing to get away from that. And I don't feel like this person is wanting to get away from you. It's just that what they're dealing with may be rough on them right now. It's almost like, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles sitting there, like they're needing your help. I don't see that as, you know, a bad thing as far as their feelings. I just feel like maybe this person has a lot to deal with right now. They've got a lot on their plate and they need to get away from it. Now, the aspects, it, you know, and this seems to be a reoccurring thing. Again, you guys are not the only ones to be dealing with this. And yeah, it's like there's a need here for some balance in the relationship. You know, you definitely have love for sure with the Ten of Pentacles being the situation that's perfect. But whether you're in a relationship or single, there is a need here to balance out all the daily shit that you're dealing with. And not just with you, but with the other person as well, for sure. It's like there's just too much going on. The Two of Pentacles always signals a need for balance. And when you look at that with relationships, yeah, it's time to stop doing the balancing act and find time for that love. And it's like you and that person are dealing with so much right now. So then here are, yeah, see, you know, Still, with the Ten of Pentacles being the situation, I, I feel like emotionally you guys are dealing with some external factors that are just too much. It's too much. <clears throat> I feel like between the Eight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, it's like when you look at how the relationship may develop, if you don't find balance... It's like what you've built here will no longer be will no longer be emotionally fulfilling. But seeing the six of swords as the other person's feelings is telling me like they're wanting to get away from this because they don't want to feel this way. You have something built here, but emotionally right now it's making you feel like weighed down weighed down there's a need for some give and take in the relationship because what you have is beautiful it's just to me it signals external factors that need to be dealt with this is what's going to test or support you and yeah it's testing you it's definitely testing you Ugh. you know i don't see that ten of pentacles as being the end of a relationship this is a very fulfilling and secure relationship but what you have going on in the outside world is just so much. It's so much. The Ten of Wands is overwhelmed, being overburdened, spreading yourself too thin. And again, with the Two of Pentacles, needing to find balance in the relationship. Because if you don't, then emotionally, the both of you are just going to be like, ugh, I'm done with this. You know? And with that Six of Swords again, <clears throat> sorry, you guys, my voice is like failing me. To me, it's saying that the other person is wanting to walk away from the conflict. Not so much walk away from you, but if you don't find balance in the relationship between the Six and the Eight, that's no good. It's no good at all. 
And the possible outcome, well, there you go. <laughs> Seeing that to me, there's passion there. Now, you know, even for those of you who are single, I really feel like that maybe this person is dealing with a lot in their life right now. And there needs to be some balance so that emotionally they're not weighed down because clearly there's this feeling of being spread too thin between the both of you for sure. But the relationship has potential between these two right here. Seeing the Ace of Wands, it's passion. It's fire. It's passion. It's a new beginning. To see that next to the Ten of Pentacles is perfect. Because again, it's looking to the future to see what you can do. And what the future says is passion. It's fire. It's passion. So I feel like, you know, <laughs> the big time message. And again, you guys are not the only ones here. If you're dealing with a lot in your life, love may be coming at a very difficult time, but there is potential here. Now, if you're in a relationship, you got to get away from the overwhelming shit in your life because otherwise, emotionally, you're going to feel like you need to walk away from some stuff and you don't want to do that. The Two of Pentacles, again, needing to find balance in a relationship. But there's potential here. There's potential to find renewed passions. All right, Gemini, we're going to look at Whispers of Love to see what guidance we can get through what you guys may be dealing with. And again, you guys aren't the only ones. It seems like everybody right now is just dealing with a lot. And it may have a lot to do with what's going on in astrology with Venus retrograde and all that nonsense that's being put out there. It's like stuck in our brains and we just think that everything's going crazy and out of control. But truly, you know, you have the ability to change your situation. You don't have to break up. You don't have to deal with conflict. You can have renewed passion in your life. Consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. Well, there you go. <laughs> you have to be committed to the relationship. You have to be committed to that love. You have to be open and committed to changing what external factors are hurting the relationship. Now, the other one you pulled is Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. This to me is for the singles. One of the things, one of the very first things that you learn when it comes to the law of attraction is when you are trying to attract the perfect love or the love that you are wanting to see in your life, you need to act like they are already there. Make space in your bed for them. Make space in your closet for them. Make space in the bathroom for them. That will create that feeling of it already existing and it will make it happen even faster for you. Now, if your partner isn't with you, if you act like they are there and you are still considering them, that will bring them home to you quicker. But you have to consider how committed you are to your relationship and how committed are you to finding balance in the relationship. I'm seeing this one a lot too. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Now, for those of you who are single, be in the present, right? And when you're dreaming of the future, be careful about what you're dreaming about because you bring that into the present moment. And what you're wanting to attract is that partner. But you have to look at where your foundation is. Now, for those of you who are in a relationship, be in the present moment. You need to be in the present moment with your partner. Instead of being so focused on the external factors in your life. And the other part of this, too, is that when you're looking at the future with your partner, again, don't bring the negative. Look at the passion. Look at the potential for that passion in the relationship and that new beginning and that fresh start. Okay, Gemini, so your situation right now is perfect. It's perfect. Whether you're in a relationship or whether you're single, you're in a perfect spot here. But I think what's happening is that all these external factors have got you so weighed down that you need to consider your foundation when it comes to love. 
If you are spreading yourself too thin, you need to drop the shit. You got to get yourself out of that feeling of being overwhelmed so that you can find balance in that give and take in the relationship. Now, if you're single, you have got too much going on right now. And if you're desperately looking for love, there is an opportunity here, but you need to consider your foundation. That seems to be the biggest message with Gemini. How committed are you to having a relationship? How committed are you to the relationship that you already have? And then on top of that, when it comes to act as if your partner is here. For singles, yes. But again, you have to consider your foundation and you need to deal with the external stuff that is going on because I really feel like the person that's coming through is wanting to get away from that kind of conflict, not that they are wanting to walk away from you. And as far as you go, if you're feeling like walking away from a relationship, I think that is not the right thing to do because the potential here, a new beginning, a new start to the relationship, new passions. And for those of you who are single, when you deal with these external factors and walk away from the things that are not fulfilling you anymore, you will find the balance that you need to be open to a partner who is not wanting to deal with that kind of conflict. There is potential. There is such potential between these two to have a very fulfilling relationship. But again, consider your foundation. Like I can't say it enough. And then when it comes to be in the present and dream of the future, you need to be careful about what you're dreaming about because that's what you bring into the present moment. And what you want to bring into the present moment is your partner, whether you're with somebody or whether you're single. When you start dreaming about what it's like to have that fulfilling relationship and you start acting like it's already there, that is what will start to show up for you.